Hello everyone, I am back from the dead and I have another book to share with you. This one is kind of interesting. Um, I mean, kind of depends what your definition of interesting is, but I think it's interesting. This is actually a collection of selected orations from Cicero. It's not too many, it's mostly the Catiline orations and there's a couple like defense speeches in here, I think. But this particular book is somewhat interesting in the way that it's formatted because it is an interlinear translation which is something that I haven't seen a whole ton of, and the books that I have seen that do it tend to be somewhat older. This particular book, <laughs> this is kind of funny, um, in that uh, whoever owned this before me, uh, I guess didn't want their uh, name preserved, so they just sort of <laughs> cut it out. So now there's this big, um, there's this big slice taken out of the, the end papers here, which is um, kind of annoying, but I guess adds some character. Yeah, so this is Cicero's Selected Orations, uh, published by the Translation Publishing Company, which um, I guess you know kind of explains what they're doing. Um, this is from 1961. Um, although I've seen I've seen books in this uh, format that are a bit older. Here's the the table of contents, sort of showing off um, the you know the selected orations, and here's the introduction. I'm not going to read the introduction for you, but I'll just sort of. Hold it up there if you want to pause and read that. The um, the sort of ethos behind this book is somewhat interesting um, in that it's not really billed as sort of like an instructional text. Rather, it's sort of explained that the, the, uh, the philosophy behind a book like this would be to sort of teach you the nuances of Cicero's rhetoric and oratory, I guess. The idea, I think, from, from what I've read... Um, in the introduction, is that the idea is basically that you have, since you have both languages here, you have sort of, you know, you have your, your native English on the bottom, so you can kind of get an idea of, like, what he's doing structurally, since it's all laid out like this for you. You can sort of see, like, how he puts the pieces together, which is sort of an interesting idea, but at the same time, you know, I have to wonder if, um, if you're proficient enough at Latin to be reading, you know, Cicero, I don't know why you wouldn't be able to come up with conclusions about how he's piecing things together from just reading it, as opposed to needing the English there to help you. And I don't really know how useful this would be to learn, because it's all there for you. You're not going to really remember anything. I guess maybe if you're struggling, you can look up a passage, but this is just selection, so maybe the passage you need isn't in here. So I don't know how useful it would be in that regard, but I do find the idea that like having these little bits that you can sort of say, oh, I see how he's putting it together, sort of teach you about uh, Ciceronian rhetoric and how, how he formatted his sentences is, um, I guess it's an interesting approach, but not one that I think has taken, uh, taken off because I don't, I haven't seen any modern equivalents of these sorts of things. There's plenty of um, plenty of versions of books where you have both languages, the most famous probably being the, the Loeb Classical Library series. But um, these sort of interlinear translations, I, I have never seen them outside of books like this that are usually... Uh, this one's a little bit later, but they're usually from the first half of the 20th century. So I don't really know that much about the sort of academic history of these sorts of books, but um, I do find them interesting. I don't really know how you would, if you were, you know, a teacher, um, how you would really incorporate a book like this into your curriculum, but uh, maybe if anyone out there has any ideas about how that might go down, I'd be very interested to know um, sort of what the history of this particular format would be. I haven't done a ton of research, and this is the only one that I own that's like this, um, and I thought it was just sort of an interesting curiosity that, uh, I wanted to share. Um, I don't really have all that much more to say about it. The paper quality is pretty nice. It's, you know, that kind of nice, smooth paper. Um, the spine is worn, but, you know, decorated in a rather charming way. And uh, this is sort of interesting. There's this noticeable color difference here, presumably because, you know, there was a book next to this and this part got exposed to the sun, so it matches the spine. You can see sort of more of the original color here. And um, yeah, other than that, 
Um, there's not a whole ton to say about it. Um, but these, I find these interlinear translations interesting. I know there's, there's, there's more out there. Um, I, I've seen them. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe uh, if you're ever going through a used bookstore, keep your eye out for this sort of thing. It's sort of a, definitely an interesting um, intellectual curiosity and pretty cool to own, even if it's not necessarily the most useful for teaching you Latin. I mean, maybe, I mean, you could, you could learn with this, I suppose. Um, but I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's caught on. So I feel like I'm rambling now. This has been a rather short one, but I, I hope uh, to produce more of these um, as time goes on. So I will see you all later.